everybody. Happy Wednesday. Woo! The weeks are just flying by. But I got to tell you, um, I was so excited because I thought today was December 13th. And it's really the um, 6th. It's the 6th. So first I'm, you know, I've been shopping and I'm thinking, okay, I'm really kind of ahead of the game this year. I'm all excited. And then I looked at the calendar and it, I'm like, the 13th? I'm not doing as good as I thought. So then I looked at my planner where my events are that keeps me straight and it's only the six. So I am doing good this year. I have the grandbabies almost bought for. Still got to work on the adults, but um, Danny and I are supposed to, it's the way it is right now, we're going to take a trip to the Williamsburg Outlet Mall on Friday. And if for nothing else, we're going to have a nice lunch in Williamsburg. Going to try to do something that retired people do. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then after that, the next week is my goal. I want to be done with everything the week before Christmas because it comes so quick. And then I think you miss the time um, of just relaxing and reflecting. And I don't want to miss that this year. I mean, all the gifts and be all that is great, but it can't be all about that. So anyways, it is only December 6th. I am excited. Now, my name is Colleen Magnus, and I come to you live on my YouTube channel every Wednesday at noon. It's the middle of the week, the middle of the day, and hopefully it's been good for you. So you take a break and you get to watch me create. Now, I do have a challenge for you all. Um, my goal this year was to have 5,000 subscribers by the end of December. So I have, I need like 190 more subscribers. And I think that's very doable because y'all know we have an extra week. It's only December 6th. So if you would, um, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell so you'll be notified when I have other videos. And please share, like, help me get my name out there. Um, I love creating, I love creating with others. Y'all know I usually teach you what to do. I may teach you what not to do, but I always promise to teach you something. So help me reach that goal. So anyways, and I'll keep you posted as we go, I am going to turn this down. Let me boot up my laptop so I can see who's here. I'm going to turn this down. And today we are going to make a really, I think it's a beautiful um, gift card holder. Because this time of the year, you know, back in the day you bought everything. Now everybody likes gift cards so that they can do their own shopping. And um, so I wanted to show you a gift card holder using the brushed gold envelopes and cards. And I have an ordering incentive for this month that I'll tell you about at the end of my video. I think you'll like it. Um, but it's really, it's crazy. It's a process for me. Um, Y'all know I'm an open book. And so what you see is what you get. And I get up in the morning. Sometimes, most of the times I have an idea or I know what I'm doing for my life. Well, this morning was a process. It's like, okay, I'm going to focus on the new online exclusives. I got this new stamp set from there, absolutely love it. And I go to start creating with it and I'm thinking, no, this needs time. There is so much I can do with this. I'll teach them how to make bows out of designer series paper. So I started doing that. You know, we all need bows. After all, it is Christmas, although you can use them for every occasion. So I start working on that and I'm like, I'm not feeling this. I'm just not feeling it because I did do a video last year on it. And if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. All it takes is one inch strips of designer series paper to create a beautiful bow. And um, why not? Why get those sticky things? I mean, I know they're quick and easy. Half the time they don't even stick. You gotta put an extra piece of uh, tape on there. But watch that. So around 10 o'clock, I'm thinking, what am I gonna do today? And then I was thinking, gift card holders. So I think you're going to like this. Um, I ended up loving it and I hope you do too. So let's go ahead. I'm going to turn the camera down here and we will go ahead and get started. Let me flip you around, turn you down. We are going to create. I'm so excited. Move that back. It's always ugly getting set up, but it, then we're there and we're good. Okay. So let me see who I've got here today. Oh, my screen looks different. It's dark with white lettering. That's kind of cool. Oh, cold and snowy New York, Renee. You know, I love my cold. It's actually gonna get cold here today in Virginia. It's rainy though. You know, being on the coast, most people get snow and we get rain. Um, but I think we might be eating out of a bowl tonight. Something hot with some good crusty bread. 
So, Bren, Deborah, Kathy's here. Hey, Kathy. Um, watching from Minnesota. I know it's chilly there. Hey, Judith. So good to see you. I'll have to figure out how to turn the screen back. That's kind of hard to see. Um, just a dusting of snow last night, but cold. I'm sure it is. Good old New Hampshire. Um, Diane, I'm glad you are here. Yes, rainy in Chesapeake. Patty and Karen. I love to see all these different places. Iowa, Indiana, North Carolina. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so this is what we are going to make. It's uh, matching envelopes, which is always nice. And then this is the gift card holder made out of a card. So what I'm using here, very, very, very easy to miss in the mini catalog. So on page <clears throat> kind of in between 34 and 35, we have these brushed gold cards and envelopes. You get 20 of them for only $12. So they're awesome because you could do anything with them. And that's what I am using to do my gift card holder. So don't miss those. Now, in addition to that, I am using, um, parts of it are sold out sadly, but the Joy of Christmas Suite. Y'all know with the mini catalog, things have been marked down. It's only while supplies last where we are right now. So you definitely want to get them while you can. So in this suite, I'm using both bundles. I did use the Joy of Christmas 12 by 12 designer series paper. That is sold out, but I have been showing this to you for months and it's gorgeous, so I hope you have it. And y'all know if you don't, you know you've got designer paper in that stamp room. So that's not a problem, substitute it. It took me a long time to create something with what I didn't have. You know, I'd see someone's card and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I want to make it just like that. And I would have to buy every flower stamp, every everything to do it. And you don't have to. You have, you know, I don't even, I haven't even seen your stamp ring, but I guess you do have extra things in there. So just use whatever, pa whatever paper you want. Christmas paper is Christmas paper. And there are some pretty ones out there. So I am using the Joy of Noel, this bundle, thankfully, this, these two bundles are still available. So if you don't have them, I really highly recommend it. I bought both and I will be keeping them in my arsenal of stamping supplies to use in the future because I do love them. So here, the Joy of Noel, you have dies. And what's cool is this Noel is one stamp, but the die is also one stamp, but it cuts each letter out individually. And that is really cool because then you can make it long. It doesn't have to stay in a square. And they're all cut with just one roll through the die cutting machine. Now, anytime you see, like see how these are highlighted in white? That means the die coordinates with it. So you have some standalone dies, but that coordinates with the stamp set. We used to call it a framelit because it frames your stamp. And same over here. So anyways, that's what I'm using now on here. The Christmas classic dies are beautiful because you have, um, gosh, mine are a hot mess. I think I've showed, I know I've showed them to you before, but basically I'll point it out when we have it, but they have these back frames and then like, you can really see that, hold on. I really wish we could have better pictures of our dies. But with this here, you have these dies and then they have the part of white that cuts out in the middle. So the dies are actually marked down from $37 to $33.30 but it's still a better deal to get your 10% off when you buy the stamp set with the die, um, the dies and you bundle that together. Okay, so what you're gonna need, let me show you what you'll need. And you could do, again, with, you could do this with any uh, half standard card. So basically you are gonna need one, and again, you get 20 in the pack, of the Holiday Mini brushed gold cards and envelopes. But you can see this is just your standard card, which is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So if you want to use just cardstock, you can, but I loved the brush gold in here. Then you're going to need a two and a half square of the gold foil paper that we have. Sorry, y'all. I'm pulling a sixteenth on you. Two and five sixteenths of square, a square of cherry cobbler. Sorry. But I love it. It just gives that little trim. And if you have any questions on a different size, just um, put it in. Well, not only in the comment, once you, if you're watching even later, put it in there. I actually had someone call me, not call me, 
leave a comment asking, well, if I don't want to use a 1 8 what size should I use? And I did tell her, because it's not for everybody. Y'all just know I was a previous drafter. I'm cool with it. So here we have the shaded spruce. That's from one of the dies. That is actually from the Christmas Classic dies. But see how you also get the white? This is another die, and they layer perfectly on each other. So I love that. One and a quarter by four and a quarter of the Joy of Christmas Designer Series paper. So these are all the players um, that we're going to be using today. Let me see. All righty. So let me set these aside and we'll get started. Now you have to cut this if you're doing this. Again, it's just like a standard card. I'm gonna go this way. But what I did was I cut it one and a half inches and then when I glue it down, I make sure that's a pocket. So I'll take my cutter, put it right here. And since it only goes to one and a half, I'm gonna go on this side, but so I'll go to one and a half inches Always make sure that you're flush across the top so you get a nice even cut. And let me make sure, one and a half, yep. I'm gonna push my little score out of the way. And then I'm just gonna cut up to the fold line. And that's gonna make it like this. So I'll take my bone folder, crease that down, and you could actually just make this a card if you want. That would flip open like so. I think that's really pretty cool too. But again, to make it into holding a gift card, you're just gonna want to put the glue on the bottom and up this side here. So that's gonna leave that pocket open. So just put a thin line. I like to use the um, Tombow liquid glue because it holds really, really strong and in addition to that, you know, when you try to use like your uh, snail or your seal, I should say, that's a certain thickness of the tape. So this keeps it thin. So I'll just put this down as such. And then now when I do my card, I'll be able to slide my gift card in. So with this, let's decorate the front. On the side here, I'm gonna take that one and a quarter by four and a quarter and I'm just gonna put it across there. And then I have, um, I have to show y'all, gotta stick with me today, because boy, do I have a funny story at the end. Definitely funny. I'm so excited about it. You'll find out why. Okay, so here, and I always, whenever I put something on here, because you know, I like to get it as close as I can, use liquid glue so I can do that around, and I also, put it up here, like I line it up with the top. Because if I have any bit of a little hangover, it's okay to have a hangover on your cards. You don't wanna have one in person. Um, not that that's experience talking. Maybe years ago. It's no fun. Anyways, there you go. And that will fold up. So that is a quick and easy um, gift card holder anytime that you need it. So with this part here, I'm going to show you, I know I have this already cut out, but I want to show you this die and a little trick. Many of you have seen it, especially if you have been um, stamping with me before. But what I'll do is I'll take my die cutting machine and I'll open it up here. Since it is a die, I'm going to be using the base plate. Let me turn them around. Number one base plate. Then the number two cutting plate, because you have to have a little bit of extra thickness. Then I have an acrylic plate. I will put my shaded spruce scrap piece down. And what I like to do when you have something this intricate, I like to take a piece of wax paper. And it's so inexpensive, it's awesome. Put it on here, and then I'll put this on top. The other thing I like to do is turn it a little bit at an angle, because sometimes when you have a die, especially if it's like a rectangle or square, if you put it in straight, it's really kind of hard to crank it through over that edge. Whereas if you feed in a point first, it'll just glide right over it. So I will put this on top. And if you're wondering, the reason I put the wax paper is because with all the little intricate pieces, 
it slides out easier. And then the cool thing is you can use it like three or four times on the other cardstock before it kind of, um, I won't say sticks in there. It just comes out easier with the wax paper because it leaves a little bit of a wax residue on there. Always good to have wax paper, not just in the kitchen. All right, so now once I have it in here, I'm just gonna make sure my sides are even and slide this through. But if I was to put it, again, if I was to put it in there like this, going straight in, it's hard sometimes to get over this edge and that's like a big clunk at the end. So I think it just goes a lot smoother when you do it like that. And again, see, hardly nothing, I like that, hardly nothing stuck in there because of the wax paper. I'll pull this off, pop this out, like so. Get rid of that, and then pull your wax paper off. And a lot of the pieces come out too. Now, one of the things, if you don't have it, you have the take a pick tool, which is awesome. It's here. And, you know, y'all know we have the paper piercer. We have this little piece if you need to get underneath stuff. We have the little gooey part, which is great for putting on embellishments. And then there are also other pieces that you can purchase. Like you have the stylus. I think the stylus, I don't know if that comes in there. That might be different, uh, separate. Then you have this little brush. And so what I did is I just took one of our old big cases, a little foamy piece, and you take this brush and you just come in here and it gets a lot of those other pieces out. Now, some people think it's therapy to pick them out. And if you have all day to do that, you are certainly welcome to. But this gets the majority of them out. And then, of course, just give it a quick look over. Oh, I think I got most of them out. And if you still see one or two, pull them out because you just want all this beautiful detail. Yeah, that's it for that one. So that is your piece. Let me check real quick to see if I had any questions on any of that. Um, oh, Kathy, you haven't seen a gift card holder like that. Sweet. I love when I can show something. And you know, so many times, I've, I've been stamping for 22 years. So, so many times it's also just good to have a refresher if you had seen it before. Um, great. Great. A lot of people hadn't seen it. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Um, Kathy, you said on the top. What do you mean by on the top? I brushed my cardstock die cut in an old case too. Works great. Yes. So again, if you're talking on this, your wax paper goes between the die and your cardstock. Okay. Yes. Your wax paper goes between the die and the cardstock. So you would put it on like you've got your plates all set up. Oops. Put down your cardstock, your wax paper, and then your die, because that's what gives it that little bit of a waxiness between the die and um, the cardstock, and it'll pop out really easy. Okay, so building this back up, I have this piece here. I am going to take my other pieces. I love, of course, that this definitely matches. Um, this Noel was meant for this die that comes with this. So, just gonna ink this up with the shaded spruce. Pull this towards me so I can see, God willing. Okay, so I have the Noel, and I just love how this stamps. I love all those little leaves inside there. I mean, the detail they put on here is awesome. And the little edges are already cut. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it on my two and five sixteenth um, cherry cobbler. And the reason, you know, I did so small on that was because I just wanted a small edge. If you didn't want to go like a 16th bigger, you could make this a quarter inch bigger, and then you're going to have to make your gold a quarter inch bigger. That's kind of the standard when your stamping is in quarter inch increments. But sometimes I just like that little bit of an edge. All right. Again, liquid glue, so I can move that just a tad. So then when I have this, I'm gonna put it on the gold foil square. Oh, I have something on my screen that's in the way. Thank you. It's called a light. Oh, it's hanging over. Thank you, Renee. I think I'm gonna to have to get me a new one soon. This one, 
the neck of it isn't holding up as strong as it used to. Okay, hopefully that's better. So this I do want to pop up, so I'll add my dimensionals. Let me see. Gosh, you haven't seen this. I'm so excited y'all hadn't seen this gift card. I'm so excited. You know, there's so many different ways you could just do a ton of videos on just gift cards. Pop-up ones, different ones, but this is, to me is one of the easiest. So now that I have this here, I am going to place it on top here. And this I am going to glue down. Again, I have the um, cherry cobbler and the words that are popped up. So I think I'll just take my seal. See, that's what's so cool about this. Again, I was going to show you all one thing today. Then I was going to show you another. And it just really um, was hard to have it all coming through. So this is what was meant to be seen today. And you know what? I tore that little piece off. So let me take this one here. That is right. That's why you always got to back up. So I'll put this on here. I like the way it looks. And then I'm going to take this and I will glue it to the center here. Yeah, I think I could use my tape. I think I can get this pretty straight. Oh, here we go. And if you want to definitely make sure you have the right spacing, open that up so you can see it. Check it out. Do you like it? Yes, I do. Push down. Never push down until it's exactly where you want it. So now I'm going to take, these were great. These were called the Blooming Pearls, and thankfully they did carry over from the mini catalog. But I love when you get your embellishments and you have two different sizes. You have the larger and, of course, the smaller. And I'm going to take the gold ones. And this is that little rubber piece I was telling you about. It's kind of gooey. Mine's a little bit long there. But as you use it, you could just squeeze at the end, but it holds on to these very easily. Um, I don't do little well. My fingers like to have a little something to grab onto. So I'll just put these, again, just the little details that you have in the corners. Hold on, got a little too long on there. When you squeeze it, just squeeze it out a little bit because it tends to push. And we also have refills for those. And I'm gonna pick up the one over there, because you can't waste these. There, and one more right here. Just, again, this, just in the details, little bitty things. So I have the gift card holder there. Now I wanted to put um, a little bit of holly. I felt like this needed something, and I don't think a ribbon would have cut it, so and the Christmas classics, which is where this came from, um, we have this little holly and then the berries. So I already did those, did them ahead of time, just stamped them, used my uh, die cutting machine to cut them out, used a piece of, um, what do you call it, these things, sticky notes to kind of hold it down. And I stamped it in the um, shaded spruce because I just didn't want like a hard black image. I know these are the alcohol markers and you're supposed to use Memento ink with them because it won't smear, but I found unless you rubbed a lot, the green stayed nice and crisp. And the only reason this shaded spruce would smear is because it is a classic ink made out of a water base. So it could pick it up. I think it worked good. I'm gonna, oh, it's looking for my scissors. I used them earlier. Huh, all right, tear this little piece off. Nobody will notice, there you go. And take your adhesive. I'm gonna put it on there. And then for these little guys, I wanted to put them on, I really wanted to put them on with the dimensional, but they were so tiny, of course you can't do that. So you're gonna have to use your glue dots. And so I'll take a glue dot and I could just put one on like this here. The other reason I kind of wanted to use a glue dot was because it would give it a little bit of dimension. You know, if you kind of ball them up on there and they're not flat, they work out pretty good. 
So I will, let me see, put this on here, kind of cover up where I kind of cut toward that. And then you have a single one. So I like how it cuts the two and you have the single one. And then for this one, I'm actually gonna take, I've got like one glue dot, ball it up, and I'm gonna do another one. And that'll kind of make it even just a little bit higher than the other ones without having a dimensional. Ta -da! Okay, so we're not done yet. Take a little bit of the Winka Stella. That one's a little dry. A little bit more. Now pull that in. All right. And the cool thing about the Winka Stella, since this is wet, it will kind of blend a little bit of the dark uh, shaded spruce. So it gives it that little bit of shading. I don't know that you can really see it. Um, you gotta be here. Man, I wish y'all could be in the room with me. Maybe one day. So I have this, and then for the inside, you still wanna stamp a sentiment. So with that, I am using, again, the Christmas Classics, and I'm gonna use Merry Christmas to you and yours. So I'm gonna take my Cherry Cobbler, And I will just stamp Christmas slightly, slightly over to the left, like that. And then with my shaded spruce. Now, if I was doing this all, well, let me tell you, let me see what I'm doing first and then I'll explain that to you. Okay, let me just say Mary over here. And then to you and yours right down here over to this side. All right, what I was gonna say is if I was doing this all in one color, I would have mounted all three words on one block. So I could just stamp them and I wouldn't have to do all that. But since I wanted the Christmas to be in Cherry Cobbler and that in Shaded Spruce, I was able to do it separately. And it's awesome because they're both photopolymer stamp sets and you can see through them. So I have that there. I'm gonna take my gift card Put that in here and there is your gift card holder so keep in mind great for any occasion great you know you can do it with a standard size card base but i highly highly recommend getting the gold cards and envelopes again 20 of them for 12 dollars. i just think it's an awesome deal let me show you where they're at again page 34 35 in the mini catalog and thankfully they did carry over so I am happy for that, um, but I would still get you a pack because you'd be amazed what you'd choose it for. Now let me show you something else. This was not my idea, but this is, um, we have what's called an artisan design team with Stampin' Up, and they are amazing. So I somehow came across this. This was from Madeline, Madeline, I'm gonna butcher your name, Madeline Mrozek, M-R-O-T-Z-E-K. She is on the design team and she had this little mini album. It was just like an, uh, a reel that I saw it on. So I stopped and copied it. She didn't really have a video or anything, but my gift to you for December is anybody who places a hundred dollar order and uses this host code will get the kit to make this. All pieces cut. So what I love about this, again, it's using your brushed gold cards. It actually takes two and a half of them. And the, actually no, it takes three, it takes three. But you have Making Spirits Bright. Now you could put sayings on here or you could put pictures. To me, it's like a little mini table album. It's meant for pictures. And then when you turn it over, you have that. So for anybody who places a $100 order the month of December, uses this host code, you will receive the kit, to everything to make um, this little mini album. It's my gift to you. And again, thank you, Madeline. Uh, you get all the credit. I, I don't even know if I changed much. I might have changed one or two things, but not enough to call it my own. So thankfully, we have beautiful people who make beautiful projects and share them with others. Okay, so my funny story. Um, I am not a, you know, well, let me, let me say this different. Everybody has a love language. I haven't read the book, so I can't tell you all of them offhand. 
Um, but some people, their love language is gifts. Mine isn't necessarily gifts. Uh, mine is time and service. I would much rather, not that I don't mind a gift, but it's never about the gift for me. It's about spending time with somebody. It's talking to somebody. Um, I have a dear friend who loves to text more so than talk, and I don't understand that because she is the one friend who can give me a belly laugh, you know, where you're laughing so hard that you feel like you're exercising. I mean, what a bonus is that? Um, you know, and you can't have that through a text. So I love like the gift of time, the gift of service, and helping somebody. That's just my gifts. So anyways, but when I do find the perfect gift, I have to get it for somebody. It doesn't have to be a birthday, a holiday. If I see something and I think of you, I want to give you that gift. So my um, brother and sis, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, Danny's brother, they have been married for 44 years. And they are a freak about drinking after each other. You don't use the same spoon. You don't eat off their plate. Um, and I'm thinking, 44 years, I'm sure you've kissed each other. So why isn't that a germ? But you can't double dip. I mean, they're just freaks about it. So I was at the craft show and they love this Christmas candy that I make. It's just like a Christmas trash. Um, oh my gosh, Cheerios, Chex Mix, M&M's, pretzels, you drizzle white chocolate on it. They love it. So I am going to make a bag of that. And I found this pot holder with a pocket and I'm going to slide it in here. Y'all get this. I am so tickled about this. It says, homemade with love. In other words, I licked the spoon and kept using it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I cannot wait to give this to them because it's going to freak them out. And then I'll see if they eat my candy because I would never, ever do that to anybody. But when I saw this, I just thought of Mary and Billy and was like, oh, yeah, they have to have this. So anyways, it has a little pocket. I'm going to slide it in here. And thankfully, I do not have to um, wait till Christmas to give it to them because they go out of town to see their daughter around the 14th and I can get it to them then. So anyways, when you see the perfect gift, you do have to grab it. So thank you. Thank you so much for being with me. Uh, don't forget for that order incentive or any order that you're placing under $150, please use this host code. Now, if you do, if your order is $150 or more, you will get 10% back in host benefits and I will still make the mini album for you. You can do all, all your ordering on creatingwithcolleen.com and please also request my newsletter. You can do the same thing there. So let me check. Let me check. All right, everybody thought that was funny too. I did too. Oh, and thank you. Cindy loves the gift card holder. Um, beautiful photo album, yes. She did a wonderful job. Hello, Kentucky. Michelle, I'm so glad you're here. But, um, oh my gosh, I love my time with all of you. So anyways, Renee's the same way. She sees something she likes, she'll get it for him. My neighbor across the street, Debbie, has bees, honeybees. Um, they have the best honey. It's so great, uh, and they get lots of it. So, of course, we have gotten her so many bee things. I think she's kind of ready to unbee. But anyways, again, if there's still something I see with a sweet honeybee, she's got it. So you all have a wonderful week. I will see you on December 13th. Still plenty of time to get everything done, y'all. And, um, oh, my goodness, life is good. Life is good. Having a great day today, and I hope you are too. So join me again next week. Uh, we might not be doing Christmas because we will be getting closer. But I promise, I hope you will love what I make, and um, I will love sharing it with you. So God bless you all, and have a wonderful day, and do something creative this week. Bye-bye now.